Hello, I'm JP and welcome to my channel, Roving Chestnut. In today's video, I'm answering a question that was posted on one of the comments section on one of my recent videos about uh, the distance that uh, my Sigma 16 millimeter and 30 millimeter EFM lenses would work to be able to fit somebody in the full shot. If you're working in a tight space or confined area and you're looking to purchase some camera equipment to enable you to film in that space or area then it's not a bad idea to see it try and do some research and find out if the shot that you want to do will actually work we have had a question from neil bird who is a new subscriber to the channel so welcome on board neil thanks for popping over let's have a look at your question Right, your question goes. Hi JP, I migrated from your other channel. Well, thank you, Neil, that's great. Uh, and have subscribed over here as I get more into taking a video and editing. Can I ask a question? Of course you can, Neil. Love questions, because it means I can produce some content for my subscribers like you. My girlfriend is a yoga teacher and we're currently setting up a YouTube channel. That sounds great, fab. We've got um, a great studio to film in, but it's a bit small. So if she stretches her hands out of the picture, um, would any of the lenses you have record a bigger film? P.S. We saw your clip of the wireless road go. And after researching and seeing it's wireless, we'll be getting that as well. It's perfect for her. Okay, Neil, brilliant. Um, I'm using the wireless go now. I've got a lavalier go attached to it because I've got a cotton shirt that uh, gets a bit scratchy. Before we uh, look at the field test of these lenses to find out the answer to the question, I would just like to ask you if you have pressed that like button on this video yet, um, because it would help me loads if you could. Um, if you could do that now, it would be really appreciated. And while you're there, if you're not already a subscriber, that's a great time to press that subscribe button. Now on to the important stuff, the field test, as that's why you're here in the first place. I started off uh, by finding out what the average height of a person was, as I needed to have some kind of benchmark, and I did that by doing a quick search on Google. And that pointed me at uh, First Architecture, uh, a website. It kind of goes that they would need to know what the uh, average height uh, figures would be, as they design places where as humans go through them. Um, anyway, I'll put a link in the description should you need to find that details as well. Next up, I needed uh, some props in my garden that I could use to show distance and height. So I grabbed my trusty tape measure and uh, some decking planks that I had left over from uh, some garden decking that I built a couple of years ago. And I put it together to measure out the distance and height. I marked off some key measuring points. Now that I've done that, I was able to film and find the answer to the question. Let's now have a look at the Sigma 16mm f1.4 on the Canon M50. Uh, the only thing I should have done at this point was to add the, uh, the Rode Lavalier Go to the wireless Go, as uh, these cotton shirts are a bit crackly, as you will hear. Okay, we've got the Sigma uh, 16mm f1.4 uh, EFM lens on the Canon M50. We are three meters away from the Canon M50, which is set up square and level on a tripod. That's my height, five foot seven. And there's the two meter mark I've put there. My hand is right up into the air now at this point, going back to four meters. So again, plenty of space there. And then four and a half, Five. Well, I think that shows that the uh, Canon M50 with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 would work as needed as the question was asked. But I did not stop there. I decided to try the uh, Sigma 30mm version. Uh, gets exciting here, you know, in lockdown. Right, we switched over to the 30mm uh, Sigma lens. 
and this is what you get from three meters away. Um, so uh, you won't get the top then. There's five seven, there's two meters. And obviously you're not seeing the floor now either. If I go back to four meters, see what difference that makes. Um, still lose the top of my hand up at the two meter mark. Uh, five seven, you've got me in the picture, hopefully in focus. And then going back to four and a half meters, seven, two, and then back to five meters. Five, seven, two. Clearly for the question that we've been asked, the 30 millimeter Sigma F1.4 lens would not do what is required but that's not a fault, it simply uh, won't do Neil's requirements. I would say, Neil, that don't dismiss the stock 15 to 45 millimeter lens that comes with the Canon M50, as you might find that is a bit more versatile at first uh, when you're starting off, because you've got the, a bit of a zoom function there. You can always upgrade later and purchase the Sigma 16 millimeter. Personally, I am really pleased that I have the 16 millimeter. I have a question now for you, my subscribers. Um, do you have any questions about the Sigma Trio of lenses and the Canon M50? Or um, would you like me to film anything in particular? Please do let me know. And if possible, I will try my utmost to make a small video to answer whatever the question is. If you have found this video useful and as yet you've not subscribed, then this is your opportunity. Um, you could at least give us a thumbs up if not, uh, but if you do consider subscribing, it would be really appreciated as it does help my channel massively. And if you do subscribe, why don't you turn on the bell? Thank you for watching, until next time.